A comedy show is rolling into Western Washington this weekend, presenting a special salute to active duty service members and veterans. Operation Laughter is uh, unique in all of the comedians are performing are also military vets, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Please welcome two of the stars, comedian, actor, and Army vet, Ty Barnett. Hey, right hey, hey, what's hey. up, what's up? Woo. All three cameras. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Navy veteran Steve Mazon right there. Thank you for I, your service, guys. Oh, thanks no for problem, being here. Man. Yeah, thanks, Steve. And thanks uh, for making everybody know, laugh. You, you got to give us individual money for the service. That's what we're changing That's now. That's true. So, That's good. You know, just write us a check. We can do that. I think that, you know, you get that on the way out. Yes. So they, they hand that to you. They All said right. it would be handled like in here. How, you, see, you see how you pass They're it off to somebody else? Yes, hey, right. see, uh, see our assistants. That's why he's uh, in you, charge. You can take one of the pillows. There, so that's fine. That's about it. That's about all we have to give. I apologize. Hilarious. So uh, tell us a little bit about the show that you guys are doing. It's uh, when is it? And uh, uh, the 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 big show, big show is uh, is at the casino. Angel Wins Casino, Angel on, Wins Saturday. casino Angel. on Saturday, and that is more the the bigger salute to the troops because we both uh, for we veterans, say, yeah, Army, yeah. Army and, and maybe and then James P. Connolly who's coming in, he was in the Marines, so he's the toughest of us all. All right, <laughs> um, but uh, that's the the big big show. But tomorrow we're also doing a show at the the VA right up here. And uh, just a little small intimate show for right. the vets that, that are there because we feel like a lot of people don't, um, they don't value what, what it is to be a veteran. Mm -hmm. and, and these guys sacrifice a lot, whether it be physically, mentally, emotionally, being away from their families and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we just want to get something back to them. Laughter is, is what we're bringing. Well, tell us about your service, Steve, and how you and then how you parlayed that into a comedian. Right. So I was uh, I was in the Navy for six years. I was on board a submarine uh, out on the East Coast. Uh, I know uh, obviously this area is uh, is pretty big and the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, after six years of that, I was like, okay, uh, I, I think I've I've learned to be funny in confined spaces. Why don't I learn <laughs> uh, some comedy? And yeah, started started touring the country and, and the world. So both both Ty and have yeah been overseas. And Operation Laughter goes overseas. We 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 perform for the troops and I. Iraq and Afghanistan just uh, they had a tour this summer so uh, yeah I've been doing it about 20 years since I got out so you've you've uh, it says here you've been on Ellen you've won an Emmy you've I won an Emmy writing for Ellen DeGeneres writing yeah, for Ellen. Yeah, so yeah. where do you get your inspiration about what do you love writing about is it just your life or what yeah, observational stuff. Those those things that I think uh, all of us go through the, during a day. You start laughing about something, and then I think the comedian's trick is like, okay, how can I take that? Well, we were just laughing about that and bring that to the stage, and then so yeah, it's a it's a skill you kind of learn. Uh, you know, there's everyone has the funny guy at the office, but it's uh, it's a different person that can can take it to the stage, and it's yeah, it's just a skill you kind of pick up. Right, and Ty, you started your career here in Seattle, right? I did. Comedy Underground, uh, my home club, the very first time on stage was down in Pioneer Square. And uh, let's see, then I moved to Los Angeles, did a few things. And uh, yeah, I've been, yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess. And, and tell us about your service. You're, you, were, you served here too, right? I uh, came here in 1990. Yeah. Uh, my memory's still okay. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I got stationed here in 1990. Uh, at Fort Lewis, uh, back when the Madigan was only one level, right. so I actually helped build the the Madigan that they have now. The the and I worked as a pharmacy tech, so legal pharmacy tech. <laughs> uh, I'm serious. Every it's time all I legal tell, now, here, I right? So. Every, exact scene. But every time I would tell people that, I'm like, yeah, I was I, I worked as a pharmacy tech, and they kind of give me the little uh -huh. side eye, like, mm -hmm. what you got for me? Mm -hmm. But no, so I, I got stationed in 1990. Uh, I got out in '96. Uh, and stayed in the Northwest, started comedy, moved to Los Angeles, I don't know, about 12 years ago, something like that. Cool. And I still come back because my kids are here. And you were in Last Comic Standing, HBO's Bad Boys of Comedy, and uh, have a special on Comedy Central and all of that. How do you think uh, stand-up has changed since 1990 when you first uh, started? Oh, man, the comedy's changed a lot since then. One, the PC era, era has kind of helped and hurt some things. I think it's kind of mostly hurt. But I also feel like you have more of a, uh, like, so me specifically as a black comedian, uh, in the 90s, they would think that all you could do is Def Jam comedy. Mm -hmm. But Last Comic and those types of shows help people see me as I'm just a black guy that happens to do comedy and I talk about regular stuff. So it's broad and you got alternative comedy now. You got so many mm -hmm. different different uh, areas where people can go. The um, the Blue Collar Tour mm -hmm. helped as well. So it's so many different niches of comedy that are, you know, something out there for everybody. But as you mentioned, the, the PC era and things like that, but it makes you have to be more creative, right? Oh, definitely. Sure, yeah. yeah. Most definitely, you know, 
Uh, and that, I will tell you this, that's one of the best things about starting in the Northwest, is that you had, I had to learn how to write. Like, mm -hmm. I couldn't just mail it in. The good thing about Northwest audiences, they will not BS you. Not at all. <laughs> they will not. let you know. If it, they will let you know. If it ain't funny, we ain't laughing. <laughs> we don't care what show you've been on. We don't care who just saw you. You're on our show now. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same with sports. If you're not winning, we're not clapping exactly. for you. We're not showing up. Uh, so uh, you guys have performed overseas as well with this uh, Operation Laughter. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's been uh, amazing. I've been, uh, gosh, 13, 14 times between Iraq and Afghanistan over the years. Uh, I guess at some level sad that you can go that many times <laughs> that we've been there that long. Yeah. Uh, but the, for the men and women that are serving over there, it's, a, it's, it's the greatest shows ever. Yeah to go because you know when we perform at comedy clubs it's to sell nachos and beer right uh, for there it's literally it's the purest comedy it's yes. it's literally just make these people who need to laugh laugh and they're so and, happy to see you exactly you know what I'm saying they 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 because they a lot of people understand like these guys are these these men and women that are serving have, are, are under stressful conditions all the time mm -hmm. all the time so when we go over there and we show them give them that release and they can just laugh and relax yeah. It's one of the most rewarding feelings, actually, to, uh, to be honest with That's you, awesome. as an entertainer. Well, thanks yeah. for doing that. Well, real quickly, what do you think yeah. is like the number one issue facing veterans when they come back? Uh, uh, people don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest attention. with you. Yeah, people don't care. Like, like, it, 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 it's sad to me that the term homeless vet is a thing. Like, you should not. There should not be homeless vets. Mm -hmm. There should not be. You go. These people go over there. They fight for their country. They sacrifice for their country. And again, they're sacrificing mentally and a lot of times physically nowadays. And when you come back to your home country that you fought for, and for them to act like what you did means nothing, that has to be that that, hurt, that has to hurt. So mm -hmm. the what I feel needs to happen is more people need to write their their representatives and tell these representatives what you really think should happen for these vets because these people sacrifice way more than you know. It, they may not even tell you that. They may not even say to you what they're feeling because right. they can't yeah. convey that. Well, thanks for all that you're doing for the vets too. It's awesome, and thanks for the yeah, show it's and an your honor service for us. too. We'll be right back.